Okay, now let's talk about section 12.3, system of linear equations with uh, determinants. Systems of linear equations using determinant. Okay, determinants. Uh, first, we're talking about the simplest, simplest case, a system of linear equation with two equations and two variables. So we have evaluate evaluate two by two determinant, two by two determinant. Okay, so here is the thing. Uh, when we have a matrix, remember that I mentioned the simplest matrix, I mentioned that you can use uh, parentheses or the bracket, or this one. Those two symbols both represent uh, matrices, okay? So it's just about the location, the position. A is the first position, B is second position, C and the D are in the second row, and first and second columns. So they mean the same thing. Uh, in different textbooks, they will use different types of uh, uh, parentheses, okay? And for me, I, I usually use this parenthesis. And in this textbook, they use the brackets. Okay, but now we are going to introduce another symbol. We're going to use this one. Okay, so we do not use a braces or a parenthesis or bracket. We use two vertical bars. It's a straight vertical bar. And this is called the determinant because it's a there are two rows, two columns. This is a two by two determinant. All right, definition. If A, B, C, and D are four real numbers, so we have four numbers, the symbol, the symbol, We call it capital D. That's a, a B and C D with two vertical bars. With two vertical bars, this is called. This is called a two by two. Determinant. It's a two by two determinant, and the two by two determinant is a number. Its value is equal to is equal to what? Let's see here. We use cross multiplication. A times D, B times a C, and then subtraction. The value is A D minus B C. And that is this determinant with two vertical bars. And this pattern, it is equal to AD minus BC. It's a, sorry, this means symbol means uh, it belongs to the set of real numbers. It's a real number. Okay? So it's a, this is called a diagonal. This is a, uh, the other diagonal. So the difference of the product of diagonal. Okay? So that's a, a definition. It's just a definition. Here, Matrix is a matrix. It simply gives us a position. It does not give us a number. It's just a formula. But here, a, a form. But this, this place, it really gives us a number, AD minus BC. So for example, evaluate this uh, 3, negative 2, uh, 6, 1. How do we evaluate? So you just get the cross multiplication. 3 times 1 minus negative 2 times 6. 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 2 
times 6 is negative 12. Minus negative, be careful, it's always subtraction. It's always subtraction here. But minus negative 12 is plus 12. 3 plus 12, 15. Okay? In the formula of the determinant, it's always subtraction here. But you may, sub, uh, you may subtract a positive number or subtract a negative number. Okay? So wh why, why do we need this, uh, uh, why do we need this uh, determinant? The reason. Why? Why do we bother to introduce another form, a symbol except the matrix? You see here in the previous long section, we discussed a lot about matrices. So we have the row echelon form, reduced the row echelon form, and we can solve consistent, inconsistent, dependent, independent uh, cases. But here we introduce this uh, uh, additional determinant. What is the reason? The reason all still comes from the solution of a solution of uh, system linear equations. Now let's see. So assume we have this uh, system of uh, two linear equations with two variables, the basic simplest case. And because the locations of A, B, C, D, you see here A, B, C, D. So we put them in the proper position on purpose. Now let's see, how do we solve it? Assume we know nothing, we don't have the value, we just have letters. Uh, letters, you see, uh, we want cancel stuffs. We want to cancel stuffs. Assume this B and the D are not zero, uh, are not zero. Assume B and D are not zero. I'm going to multiply the first row by D. We are going to multiply the second equation by B. Remember, I'm trying to eliminate, eliminate one. We're trying to eliminate one. Okay, so you see, the first equation is multiplied by D. I will have ADX plus BDY is equal to SD. And second equation, we multiply it by B. So we have a BCX plus BDY is equal to TB. TBBT, the same thing. And then we're going to use line one, uh, equation one to subtract, it, uh, to subtract equation two. So equation one, subtract equation two. Okay? So this BD, BDY minus BDY canceled. Here you will have ADX minus BCX is SD minus TB. SD minus TB. We factor out X. We'll have AD minus BCX is SD minus TB. All right? So... That's, that's abstract computation, right? So let's see what is it. So let's see what it is. Uh, this is a number. Assume this number. AD minus BC is not a zero. Assume this coefficient is not zero. If the coefficient is not zero, how do we solve it? We just divide the equation by the coefficient. So X is equal to SD minus TB over AD minus BC, AD minus BC. Well, let's go back to the definition. What is AD minus BC? That is a determinant, right? Uh, I'm going to write it here. I need more space. So the determinant, uh, the denominator is actually the determinant. Let's write it here. Right, you see, AD minus BC, AD minus BC, that is a determinant. Now, what is as D minus TB, SD minus TB, SD minus TB is actually this STBD. You check that, ST, uh, SD, TB, ST, 
T minus TB. So the, the, the answer for X is actually the quotient of two, two by two determinants. It's actually two, two by two determinants. See, it's a surprising fact. It's a surprising fact. We can actually use the determinant to directly give the answer of the system of two equations with two variables. And let's, here we solve for x. Let's try to solve for y. How do we solve for y? Here we multiply, okay, ax, bv, s, cx, uh, not bv, B, B, y, dy, t. Now I'm going to cancel uh, cancel x. I'm going to multiply it by c and multiply it by a. Uh, of course, here we assume a is not a 0, c is not a 0. OK, so first equation times c will have acx plus bcy is uh, sc. Second one times a, so acx plus ady is equal to ta. ta. Okay, then you do, again, here, let's call it a 1 and a 2. This time, I'm going to use la, uh, equation 2 to subtract equation 1, so 2 minus 1. ACX, ACX canceled, ADY minus BCY. I want AD minus BC, so that's why I use equation 2 minus equation 1. Then TA minus SC. And I fact out Y. A D minus B C times Y is a T A minus S C. Okay, that's just a, a factorization. And again, if A D A D minus B C is not equal to zero, if this coefficient is not equal to zero, we'll get a Y is equal to A T minus C S over A D minus B, C. Like the case for X, A, D minus B, C is the determinant A, B, C, D. A, T minus C, S is the determinant A, A what? This is A, S, C, T. A times T here. This is A, this is T. C is here, S is here. Right, so we can represent the x and the y both by the quotient of the determinants. We can both, so we, we have the solution. We directly have the solution. The reason we, we like this better, not, not this one, it's because this one, can you remember it? This one, this one. They are so close. They are so close. At least for me, I don't really know. I don't know how to remember them. But for this one, I know how to remember. We will see see it later. We'll see it later. There is a way to memorize them, and that's not difficult. And this is called the Kramer's rule. The stuff we just discovered is called the Kramer's rule. What is a Kramer's rule? It's long. This is a Kramer's rule for two variables and the two equations. So AX plus BY is S, CX plus DY, D, DY, my bad, DY is T. This one has solution has a solution given by x is the denominator. denominator. You see, they have the same denominator. A, B, C, D, Y. A, B, C, D. OK, now let, uh, I will tell you how to memorize it. So you see, A, C, they are the, they are the coefficients of uh, x. But when you compute the x, you will use ST to replace AC in the numerator. 
So you do not copy A and C, you will copy S and T. Because you are talking about X, X, X corresponds to the first column. Okay, so you use S, T. On Y, Y you copy Y, B, D. Okay, and when you talk about Y, Y corresponds to the second column. You will drop, the, remove the second column and write S, T. And then first column corresponds to X, so you copy A and C. You don't, you don't change it. So this is a way to memorize the Kramer's rule for two equations, two variables. And uh, whenever you have the division, you have a condition provided if the denominator is not equal to zero. If the denominator is zero, you cannot apply the Kramer's rule. Okay, Kramer's rule only can only be applied if this uh, determinant is not equal to zero. All right, all right. So sometimes they give certain name to simplify this writing. They, they still c consider those writings as uh, too long. They want to get the short notation. They will call D as uh, this general denominator, A, B, C, D. And when you consider the numerator, you have x. You see, this is a numerator of x. When you have, when you talk about x, you remove the coefficient of x and use st. When you talk about y, you remove the coefficient of y, you use st, and copy the ac. ac a coefficient of x, you cannot move it because you're talking about y. And when you remember d, dx, and dy, then x is a dx over d, and y is dy over d. And this is a short notation for the Kramer's rule for two equations with two variables. All right, two equations with two variables. So for example, let's try to quickly apply this uh, Kramer's rule. It's, uh, it's very short. Uh, 3x minus 2y is 4. And 6x plus y is 13. All right, so now let's try to compute. D, D, D is a 3, 6 negative 2, 1, okay, 3 times 1, 3, minus negative 2 times 6, negative 12, 3 minus negative 12, 15, this is D, now let's see DX, when you talk about DX, you drop 3, 6, you copy 4, 13, and the Y for the coefficient of Y, you copy negative 2 and the 1, all right, so for the Y column, you still copy it, because this moment you talk about X, and you only modify x column. Okay, now let's check. 4 times 1 is 4. Minus. It's always minus. Negative 2 times uh, 13 is negative 26. 4 minus negative 26 is 30. 4 plus 26 is 30. dy. We're talking about the y. We keep the x column. This is x column, y column. We keep x column. We will replace the y column by the constant column. Constant column. Now let's check. 3 times 13, 39. Minus 4 times 6, 24. What is it? Uh, it's still 15. Okay, it's 15. Okay, then by Kramer's rule, x is a dx over d. dx, what is dx? 30. What is d? 15, which is 2. y is dy over d. dy is a 15. d is a 15. 15 over 15 is a 1. So the, the solution is 2 comma 1. You check that. It's exactly the same. The solution is exactly the same. See? 
very short, very simple, very efficient. So this is uh, the Kramer's rule for two equations with two variables. Two equations with two variables. There is a hypothesis. We assume this denominator d is not equal to zero. It is not equal to zero. Okay? If, okay, if d, which is a, b, c, d, a, d minus b, c, is equal to zero, you cannot apply Kramer's rule. Kramer's rule will just handle the consistent unique solution, consistent independent situation. You cannot apply Kramer's rule. The system is either inconsistent, it may not con con uh, ha have a solution, or consistent but infinite, or infinitely solution, or has infinitely many solutions which cannot be discussed by Kramer's rule. Okay? It cannot be discussed by the Kramer's rule. All right? So that's uh, uh, the simpl simplest case, the simplest case, the simplest case. Okay, now let's uh, move a little bit from two by two to three by three. From two by two to three by three. We try to evaluate the three by three determinants. Uh, well, we know what is a two by two is a, a b c d we have four n four numbers we can just use a b c d but if you have a three by three we'll have a b c d e f g h i well it's too long i don't think but in this case we do not use a b c d f g uh we are going to use the following thing a one one a one two a one three a two one a two two a two three, a three one, a three two, a three three, and we also use two vertical bar to represent or uh, to to emphasize that is a a determinant, not a matrix. This is not a matrix. Whenever you have a vertical bar, it's not a matrix. Now, what what is a determinant? It's not like AD minus BC simple. It's a following. We are going to reduce this uh, three by three determinant to uh, a sequence of two by two determinant. How do I do that? Check here. A11. A11 in the first row, first column. I'm going to cover the first row, first column. You see, you will have a two by two matrix, uh, two by two determinant. So A22, A23. A three two, A three three. Remember how do I get it? This way. You see, I just copy this corner. I just copy this corner. I will get this. A one times a two by two determinant. It's not done. It's not done. Now let's check. A A one two. A one two is in the first row. Let me, first row, second column. So I will cover the first row, cover the second column. You see, you will also have A, A21, A23, A31, A33. Remember that, okay? So it's a A21, A23, A31, A33. This way. See it? I cover the first row, second column. All 
all right and then I'm going to discuss a 1 3 a 1 3 is in the first row and last column I will cover the first row and the last column you see you again have a a 2 by 2 determinant a 2 1 a 2 2 a 3 1 a 3 2 a 2 1 a 2 2 a 3 1 a 3 2 and remember that that's AD minus BC. You will have a subtraction. So here, first the subtraction. But it's not always subtraction. It will be another one will be addition. So it's a addition, subtraction, addition. It's alternating. It's alternating. So this is the formula for the 3 by 3 determinant. It's the formula of a 3 by 3 determinant. Okay, and uh, how do I memorize them? You see, this one, how do I get this one? And how do I get these uh, three matrix, uh, three two by two determinant? For A11, I cover the first row, first column, because it's A11, first row, first column. For A12, I cover first row, second column. For A13, it's a first row, second column, so first row, a third column, first row, third column. Okay, so we will have M I J. M I J means the determinant, the new determinant by removing the I's row and J's column, I's row and J's column, okay? So for example here, this is first row, first column, M11 is this A22, A23, A32, A33. You really just remove the first row and then remove first column and check it, okay? And just cover them and you will see what you're going to copy here. So this is M11. This is M12. You see here, those indices are identical to the indices of A. And this is M13. If we have such notation, we can say that the 3 by 3 determinant is equal to, okay, I'm not, I'm not trying to copy them again. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. This one, this one. It is A11 times M11 minus A12 times M12 plus A13, M13. You have to understand what I'm writing. M12, M13, M11, what they are. They are a two by two determinant, okay? They are numbers, again, determinant are numbers. So for example, Given this uh, determinant A, which is a uh, uh, two, negative one, three, negative two, five, one, zero, six, negative nine. You have to be careful. Okay, we have this uh, three by three determinant. We say find first part M one two. M12. How do I get M12? M1, one, one first row, oops, first row, two, second column. See it? You cover the first row, first row, and second column. Row one, column two. You will have negative two, one, zero, negative nine. Okay. Negative two, one, zero, negative nine. Just be careful, you see here. You, you see what I'm copying? So negative two, zero, one, nine, this one. And this is, remember, negative two times negative nine, 18. Minus one times zero is zero, so it's equal to 18. Those notations are numbers. And uh, part B, M, two, and three. Difficult. Let me let me try to find a pen, a pencil. Try to get a pencil. 
we are going to cover the second row, third column. Let's see, the second row, okay, second row, third column. See it? Second row, third column. Then what do you see? You, you read 2, negative 1, 0, 6. 2, negative 1, 0, 6. Just read. Yeah, you can still read. So 2 times 6, 12, minus negative 1 times 0, 0. So negative 1 times 0. Uh, 12 times uh, minus 0 is just 12. Right, so that's a, uh, a determinant. And now let's really compute one, okay? So we will just compute one example for today and then we'll continue in the next video. So let's, let's really compute this uh, three, zero, negative one, four, six, two, eight, negative two and three okay so by example uh, by by definition it's a first one times m11 minus second number times m12 plus third number times m13 check it remember that first number m11 second number m12 third number m13 that's a definition now let's see what is M11. M11, I'm gonna use pencil, it's easier for me to handle. Okay, M11. M11, let's read it, it's a six, two, negative two, three. M12, oh, of course, what is M12? This is M12. Four, eight, two, three. But it doesn't matter, you have a zero. Zero times M12 is zero. So I'm not going to call, uh, compute M12. Minus negative M13. M13. It's a 4, 6, 8, negative 2. All right? So that's the advantage of 0. If there's a 0, we're happy. OK, now let's compute. This 6 times 3. 18 minus 2 times negative 2, negative 4. Minus 4 times negative 2, negative 8. Minus four time, uh, eight, uh, 6 times 8 is 48. Okay, so it's uh, 18 minus negative 4 is 22. Times 3, 66. Minus minus is plus, so plus 8 and plus 48. What is it? Uh, this is a 74, right? Yeah, it's a 14 at 1, so 74. 74 at uh, 48 is uh, 122. 122, right? correct. Okay, so that is our first computation about a 2 by, uh, 3 by 3 determinant. 3 by 3 determinant excellent so today I mean in this in this uh, uh, short video we introduce the determinant we first introduce a 2 by 2 determinant very simple AD minus BC you have cross multiplication and do subtraction in the formula it's always subtraction and uh, and then we explained why we are interested in such construction, the whole process. And this process also gave us a rule, so-called the Kramer's rule, Kramer's rule for the two by two, uh, two by two determinant. So Kramer's rule, yeah, here, here. Kramer's rule, x is dx over d y is a dy over d then you have to know what is a dx dx means you replace the x coefficient by the constant dy means you replace the y coefficient by a constant constant column this st constant column st are from the right side and then we have examples to compute it 
and later we mentioned that the Kramer's rule can be applied if AD minus BC is not equal to zero, if this coefficient determinant is not equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, you cannot apply, you cannot, very important, you cannot apply Kramer's rule when the denominator is zero. In, the, in that case, you may have either the system is inconsistent, no solution, or you may have infinitely many solutions. There are cases, but those cases cannot be discussed by the Kramer's rule. All right, so this is two by two. We completely solve the uh, system of uh, two linear equations with two variables. What well, we are very uh, inspired. And then we want to say, now let's consider the case if we have three equations with three variables. And first thing, we have to determine the determinant. Uh, we have to define the determinant. Here is a way to define the determinant. We reduce the three by three to two by two case, but with very interesting construction. Interesting means so far we couldn't see the reason, but later we will explain. And the construction is not always addition, it's not always subtraction. Not always addition, not always subtraction, okay? In this case, we use the first row a11, a12, a13, and we use uh, those mij. Uh, those mij, let me see. No, they have no name. Okay, just those mij. mij, and you should know how to get mij. You are going to remove row, remove, remove column. The current situation, the M11, M1, M22, M13, whatever, they are two by two determinant. They are numbers. Mij is always a number. You're supposed to know how to find Mij. And with the help of Mij, we do compute our first three by three determinant. So next, in the next video, we will continue the discussion and we will really solve some system of uh, three equations with uh, three variables and follow the same pattern, Kramer's rule. Kramer's rule. Okay? Okay, excellent. We will finish this video at this point. Thank you.